Hey guys, welcome. In this one, we are gonna practice on this object. I don't know what it is, but it is looking really cool and it is a great hot surface material, so why not? All right, let's first add in a cylinder. I'm gonna hit NMB and scale it. I will remove caps and also I want to get rid of that word play. Okay, we are good to go. I will make it editable and remove these points because I want to add in symmetries. So this one is fine. I will add another one, but this time I want to mirror this on the Z. So I will turn this off and enable Z. I will also enable the health option on. Now it's going to be quite easier. So let's try to get that detail first. I will select the edge, hold down control, extrude that out. Then to get that perfect rounding at the top, I will add in a primitive, which is going to be a disc. I will need to change its orientation to X, move it up. By the way, let's turn off these work planes. I will select my disc, but I want to level this right on that edge. So I will enable snap and move that disc on one of these points. Then I will need to bring back this to the world center. So let's come over here, set this to world and zero out the Z position. It's not gonna work because we are in the edges mode. So I should be in model mode. Now I need to scale this to match these points, these two points. Okay. Now let's get back to the first original mesh. I will select these edges because I will extrude these around. But before doing that, I will first change my orientation to world. Then I will enable access mode and move that axis right on that point. Turn off that one, the access mode. Now I will basically duplicate these edges right on the points of the disk. Hold on control. Perfect. Then I will select the disk, scale this, go back to the this one. This time I will snap these points. And here we go. We can delete that disk. And we can move this down to make something similar. Okay, looks perfect. Now let's try to get that rounding here. And it's gonna be again quite easy. I align, all I need to do is move that edge up. But to be sure, first we need to add in a symmetry, uh, sorry, subdivision surface. And let's move that up. Enabled sub D. This is looking fine, but one thing is missing and it is a loop cut because we are working in sub D and uniformity is quite important. So I will add that edge in. So basically we want these edges to have the same length as much as possible, which will give us a really good rounding. If I go to the front view and to make this one editable and you know remove that spotting edge, this is the result without it. And if I add this one in, and this is the result with the sporting agent, and you can see the difference. By that way, you are going to get a perfect looking roundings. So uniformity is the key in this workflow. Okay, we are looking fine. Now let's double click and grab extrude tool, extrude these in. We are going to have these leftovers. So I need to select the symmetries and increase up the threshold. Then I will hold down control and extrude these edges along the X, then I need to zero out the position and size of these edges to zero along the X. So type in zero twice and here we go. Let's not forget the bottom. Uh, I will double click on these, but I want my axis to be right in the middle of the world so I can scale this in easily. So it's E, move tool and set its position to world. I will hit T, hold on control and extrude this in. Uh, let's lock the Y and do it one more time. I will enable subdivision surface. I will add another one, click off. Okay. Then the last thing I want to do is 
extruding these polygons down, hold and control. Then I will hit T to scale them on the Y axis to make them perfectly flat. Then we can remove these leftovers. And that's going to be it for the basic shape. Let's enable the subdivision surface. Obviously, we need to make some edges sharper. And the first thing that comes to mind is sporting edges. But uh, I will not make these edges sharper that way because in order to get that detail, I will need to subdivide my mesh one time at least because it is not going to be possible to get the detail with the given polygons. We are going to need more resolution. So that's why I will need to subdivide my mesh at least one time. I think one time is going to be more than enough. Uh, and that is why I don't want to add in loop cuts because if I add these ones in, I will increase up my resolution unnecessarily. So instead of loop cuts, I will use weights. If I double click on these edges, And and bait them up. We are gonna see that we are not gonna add unnecessary edges to the mesh. Let's not forget the inside. Double click on these, bait them up, and here we go. Perfect. Now we need to make this subdivision surface editable, but whenever I'm about to make this kind of big decisions, I always make a duplicate and hide the first one just in case. Then we can make this one editable, set these levels to one, and make it editable. That should give me a single mesh. We no longer need that weight. Okay, now let's try to get that detail. I will add in a disk, change its orientation, move it over here, and scale it. Then I will change this to 6. You may find it too low to get that detail, but from my experiences, 6 sided disks work just great for this kind of extended disk shapes. Also, by doing so, you are going to avoid diagonal edges, and I will show you in a minute. First, let's duplicate this. And by the way, before doing that, I will put the subdivision surface because I need to know the final size of that disk. So I will scale that up, something like that. Then I will turn control, duplicate this over here somewhere. Then connect these two, connect objects and delete. Points mode, hold turn control, connect these edges, then remove these diagonal edges so that we are going to have all quads. And I can connect this as well. Also, let's reset the position of the axis to select it again. Okay, now select the detail extrude tool, enable caps option, and extrude it through the mesh. Nice. Now I will select my original mesh, hold down Alt, add a bool, and put that new disk under that one. Okay, before making this bullet editable, I will enable create single object and make it editable. Let's see, now I will grab polygon pen tool and I will start to clean up my mesh. So as I was saying, try to stay away from diagonal edges. If you add these ones in, you will probably get pinching or bulging around this area. So I'm gonna select these and slide them up. Then polygon pen tool, connect these points. Same here. Get them closer, then push them. Then these guys slide them down, polygon pen tool. Now I will double click. No, double click will select them all. So I will select this one, hold down control and shift, select that one. Then slide tool. Hold on control, polygon pen tool, and connect these. Okay, now I will add these edges in, double click and slide them up. It's always good to have this kind of protection loops around the details. Same here. 
double click oops slides okay now obviously we need to do the same here i will probably speed through that section but basically i will follow the same approach Now I will turn control on this out and that's gonna be it. Now let's put this one in new so the we are gonna need loop cuts as sporting edges. So we'll click on this slide tool, hold on control. Same here. Okay, it's cool. Nice. And these ones, okay, perfect. I think if I add these loops here, it will be perfect. Yes. So no pinching or no bulging on the surface. It is looking perfect. Nice result. Uh, if you want something sharper, obviously you can, you know, make these edges closer. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Obviously, you can't put a disc or a cylinder to get this thing in the middle. I think that's gonna be enough for this tutorial. Also, uh, our detail is looking larger than that one, but I think you got the idea about how to approach this kind of details. Nice and uniform topology. To make it even better, you can uh, select this one and you know, you apply the tool spacing tool. Same here, but just select these ones. Nice job. I hope you liked this one and learned something new. If you have any questions, just let me know anytime and I will see you in the next ones. Bye.